Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. We're releasing all of that negative energy, only accepting joyful, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thankful. Thank you. I'm thankful, thankful, thankful. Thank you for everybody that is joining in, that is here with me today. This message is just going to be a collective message for whoever needs to hear this. And I'm really getting the energy of you being very magical. I'm also getting the energy of you being very gifted. And you've been very gifted for quite a while, okay? So there's always been something different about you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whenever you um, think about your family, whenever you think about the people that you grew up with, it's, there's always been something very different about you, right? And you may have not been able to exactly put your finger on it, but there's definitely been a lot of 5D contact, a lot of um, um, contact with uh, passed over loved ones. And there's also been a lot of like um, extraterrestrial communication. Like you've definitely seen, seen um, uh, unidentified, uh, unidentifiable objects before, plural. And you know that there's more like um, mystical creatures and all of that. You know that there's more here than just human beings. Okay, so somebody sees that you are, let me go ahead and adjust this, y'all. We have exchanging gifts and observer. Somebody sees that you are very intelligent. Somebody sees that you're not like, you're not a follower. You're very much so a leader. You don't care about the popular, like it's not a popularity contest to you. You don't, you're not trying to be the most popular. None of that shit really matters, you know, to you. And it doesn't matter at all, you know, in life. But, you know, a lot of people do things for a popularity contest and that's never you. You're always a very genuine, a very loving individual, and you're doing things from the heart. And somebody sees that. Somebody sees that you've always been that way. It's not You're not making this up, right? That you're not trying to be putting a false face on. That's who you've always been. You've always been a loving, kind-hearted person. And you've always been a person that, you know, understands different walks of life, and you're able to be very much so a listening ear to a, to a lot of people, as well as you're able to not be judgmental in those situations, okay? We have peace here, and then blessed, and then round and around. So with this being said, there's been a lot of times that you may have questioned what you really saw, or you may have questioned questioned some things that you were, um, that were going through your head as far as, um, you know, simulations, as far as things that have, um, may have, um, you like, or is this a test? Like just different, just different things that people wouldn't normally think about, but you know that you were received a lot of different signs and synchronicities to know that you were supposed to, like say for instance, it's something real random and you were led to do something random as hell. And some somebody else may not understand that, but you never were to question it. You was like, you're, you're just like a, in the energy of saying, okay, I know this is random as hell, but I know I was led to do this. So let me go ahead and do it. If that makes sense at all. And a lot of these things you've done by yourself, putting tarot on it. A lot of these things you've done by your motherfucking self, okay? There's not been any, um, um, I'll say, earthly help. There's been help with the divine, but there hasn't been any her earthly help. And you know that solitude? Because a lot of people, it's hard for some people to be able to sit in silence, to sit by themselves. But you know, that was a, a point when you were sitting in silence, sitting by yourself. You were getting a lot of inner guidance, right? And you were able to go through a journey of self-discovery, and that really helped you to explore the different levels and layers of yourself and op opened you up to something just completely different. We have the four wands here. So you are definitely, you know, you had to go through this rite of passage. So you are definitely, um, I'm getting the energy of you being um, crowned. You know, like I'm, I'm, you being knighted, you, you being crowned, um, that you are this person of, that is trustworthy, that you are this person that is like, you, you've gone through the rite of passage. You've gone through some different, um, some different levels to get you where you are. And I'm talking about on the spiritual level. And now it's time to celebrate. Okay. Now it's time to celebrate. Now it's time to win. Now it's time for you to progress. Um, so some things that you may have been trying to accomplish for quite a while, that's now coming to fruition for you. There may have been some hard times that have come in the past, but those hard times are over. You know, um, the best is yet to come type of energy. So this is absolutely amazing. And then we have the chariot and you're, you're getting a lot of um, success around you. You're having a lot of success around you. If you see that some people around you are winning, just know that it's not too far. 
because if that's in your their energy and you feel like um you know i've been working and on this this and that and it just hasn't come to fruition yet just know look at the people around you look at the situation around you look at a just random um something that may come up on your feed that's very inspiring and that is meant for you that message is meant for you because you are a person that deserves the success you definitely deserve the success and you are moving and have already moved away six of swords from a lot of things that no longer serve you. So a lot of things that you used to put up with, a lot of things that you used to put energy into, you don't even do that anymore. You don't do that any longer because you know it's not worth your time. You're not put here to, you know, try to prove some shit to people that don't want to, like, that want to argue about it. No, you're just here to be a, a catalyst to the people that already know. Period. Magician. Yes, you are. You are this powerful magician. You are definitely a person that understands the power of manifestation. You understand how to manifest. You understand the journey of manifesting. You understand the expectations. Like the expectations of you are very high because your heart is so pure because you are a genuine person and because the divine connection, right? So you understand to only do things towards your North Node. You understand that anything that you're going to do it's going to be because you thought about it, because you were led to do it, because you have spoke over, you know, whatever it is with the divine. And you know that this is the right thing for you to do. Prosperity. Okay. Prosperity. That's all that you're living in. I was in the prosperity. So you might as well get used to me. So, yeah. It's, it's definitely in the energy of just a lot of blessings coming towards you and you being able to trust this situation, right? You being able to know that you are very special, that you are very gifted and you always have been. And you having your boundaries up is going to be very important as well because as you grow and glow and many people see you being very... Like I was saying, y'all, there will be um, situations that come in that try to, you know, disrupt that. There will be situations that come in that try to destroy what you're creating. And they're not going to be successful, but you will have your boundaries up and you will have your senses just tingling because you know exactly, you know, who is going to be for you. You know, you can feel that genuine energy and then also proof is in the pudding, right? Somebody just can't tell you. They, they're going to have to show you. So just continue to be strong because there's a lot of things that you have been going through lately and it requires strength. It, it requires um, strength, but best believe your beauty is being seen. Even when you don't see um, that people are recognizing you, okay, and then we have strength. You have that strength to go ahead and subdue those inner demons. So anyone, it, even when you don't see that people understand the hard work that you put in, or people don't never, um, or people are never um, kind to you in the way of saying, you know what, you did your damn thing. Ain't, ain't nobody telling you that. Ain't nobody really rooting for you. Nobody's um, understanding the things that you have gone through and the difficulty. Because, you know, if they have been, if they would have gone through just a percentage, a low percentage, I say 10% of the things that you have gone through in your life, they wouldn't have been able to survive it. They wouldn't have known how to handle it. All right? So a lot of times you get a lot of battles that you have to fight but it's to teach others because you are this healing energy, because you are this person that is very much so in an um, optimistic mind frame, and because you are this person that, you know, you're not going to give up regardless. You're not going to give up, and because you're not going to give up and you're going to keep on going and you're going to show other people the way, it's nothing but prosperity for you. It's nothing but blessings. It's nothing but your peaceful life, and it's nothing but you know, a lot of changes around you for you being able to manifest exactly what you deserve. All right. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, peace, love, and namaste.